Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my hands-on and first impressions video of the new Hot Pepper Ghost budget smartphone. So let's get started. So Hot Pepper is a brand that is very new to the US market and they focus on budget smartphones and the Ghost is one of their latest and greatest offerings. So far, every device that they've released is named after a different Hot Pepper. So this one is the Ghost and I'm sure you've heard of Ghost Peppers. So I'd imagine that as they put out more devices after this in the future, those are going to continue to be named after different peppers. So if you have any suggestions, leave those in the comments section below. Now I did already open up the box and set up the device to save some time, but I did put everything back in the box, so let's see what all is included. So we'll lift the lid here, and here is the phone, so I'll put that off to the side first, and we'll see what else we get here. It looks like we get a bunch of different goodies. So we get a ghost quick start guide, so just a little bit of information about the phone here. We have this plastic case, and it's really nice that they do include a free case because I know that with many of these budget smartphones, there typically are not very many, if any, cases available online. So it's nice that they did include one. There is a SIM card removal tool. We get a USB-C cable for charging and data transfer. And we get a USB wall adapter with Hot Pepper branding on it. Now what's really cool, or maybe I should say hot, because it's the Hot Pepper Ghost, is that this device is factory unlocked and works with all four major US carriers. So you heard that right, you're gonna get support with AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon, and any carriers that are under those. So Metro by T-Mobile, Cricket, Mint Mobile, all those different carriers are compatible with the Hot Pepper Ghost. Now I know that many of you that are with Sprint and Verizon especially are not used to having that many factory unlocked smartphones to choose from, especially budget devices, so this is one of them. Now this device will be available for purchase very soon, but at the moment it's not, and I'm not aware of an official price tag yet for the phone. But it is possible that at the time that you're watching this video, they might have launched the device, so definitely take a look at the link in the video description to see the most up-to-date pricing for the phone. So here is the device itself. It's in this dark blue color, and at the moment that's the only color available for the Hot Pepper Ghost. It features a 6-inch display at 720p. It features TFT display technology. We're getting a 262 PPI, and it features an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. So definitely kind of a taller and slimmer design, which makes it great because you're able to reach across with no issues at all. But at the same time, there's plenty of space here on the display for browsing social media and going on the web. So there's certainly nothing groundbreaking or overly innovative with the design of this device, but in many ways that's a positive because you are getting a very proven and reliable design. Now up top here we have a 5 megapixel front facing camera, and in the full review video you will see some photo and video samples from the device. We do have bezels on the top and bottom, but there is no notch with this device, so for those of you who are not fans of notches, I'm sure you will appreciate that with the Hot Pepper Ghost. Now internally we get 32 gigabytes of storage with the SD card expansion. There is no wireless charging with the Hot Pepper Ghost, but we do have a fingerprint sensor on the rear. So let's try that out right now. So a very quick fingerprint sensor with the phone, it is very accurate as well. Now also on the back we have the camera module and it's just a single camera with a flash. It's 13 megapixels by the way and so far I've used it a little bit here in the office and I am pretty surprised at the clarity from that camera. It seems like they did a very nice job with the software optimization. Now video recording with the Hot Pepper Ghost maxes out at 1080p at 30 frames per second. The device features 3 gigabytes of RAM and has the MediaTek Helio P22 processor. Now if you're not familiar with the P22, it actually is a pretty decent processor and it's comparable to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 450, which is the processor that powers the LG Stylo 5. Now I did run an Intuitu benchmark test with the Hot Pepper Ghost and this is the result. So we get an overall score of 82844 with a CPU score of 41202. So that's pretty much on par with other phones that I've used with a Helio P22 and 3 gigs of RAM. And so far it seems like performance is decently smooth, especially for a budget device. 
So I'm definitely gonna have to use it for a bit longer to really have some solid opinions on the performance of the phone, but based on my experience so far, I am pretty impressed. Now the phone features a beefy 3850 milliamp hour internal battery. That's a bigger battery capacity than the Google Pixel 4, and with typical usage, you're gonna be able to get around two days of use. So if you're not a fan of constantly charging your device, you're definitely gonna like the Ghost. Now a software on here is Android 9 Pie, Hot Pepper has pledged though to do updates on a regular basis with the phone. So based on that promise, I'd imagine that we will be getting Android 10 with the device. And I definitely hope so because Android 10 is already out on some devices. But it's always nice to have very good software support. And I know that many of you like to receive security updates and I don't blame you. Now the phone does feature a plastic build, but it definitely feels like a good quality build. It's nice and solid, so no issues with that at all. It actually feels very similar to the build quality that you get with the Samsung Galaxy A20, which I will be comparing this phone to. Now on the left side here on the device, we have the slot for the SIM card and micro SD card. Then on the right side, we have the volume button and power button. Then on the top of the phone, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So it does have a headphone jack. Then on the bottom, we have the speaker, microphone, and USB-C port for charging and data transfer. It's definitely nice to see USB-C, I'm a big fan of that. Now on the back side of the phone, we have the camera module of course, we have a noise canceling microphone, we have the fingerprint sensor, and we have the hot pepper logo, which is a pepper, as you'd imagine it would be. Now the back side of the phone is kind of a glossy, dark blue color here. It definitely is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but overall I think the phone does look very attractive and nice. So hot pepper did a good job at designing a phone that does look good, even though the display is TFT, which typically isn't the most impressive display technology, it does get decently bright, and 720p does get the job done with the device too, and I feel like overall the display does look decently crisp and clear. Another great thing too about the Hot Pepper Ghost is that it features a near stock version of Android, so you don't get any bloatware at all. I did add a few apps like Intuitu Benchmark, Instagram, CPUX, Zedge and wallpapers, but other than that, all the other apps on the phone are the apps that come pre-installed, and as you can see, we don't get a whole lot. We just get the Google goodies, which you get with any Android device. So there is no portrait mode with the phone, but in some ways I don't mind that because there's other devices that are in the budget price range that promise to have a good portrait mode, but it's barely even worth having. So I'm happy that they instead decided to focus on having decent camera quality for both the rear and front cameras instead of having some sort of subpar portrait mode, if that makes sense. Because that is a common complaint that I've had about other phones that have dual cameras in the backside. I'd rather them just focus on a single decent camera instead of two subpar cameras. And it looks like that's something that Hot Pepper took into account when designing this phone. Of course, you can't really see a whole lot through the camera lens here, but everything looks decently crisp and clear through this lens. Definitely gonna be going out in public and taking a bunch of different photos so that I can post those in the Facebook group, on Twitter and Instagram, and in the full review video. With a 12 megapixel main camera and a 16 megapixel telephoto camera. So video viewing is very good on the Hot Pepper Ghost. Now, when the speakers are at full blast, they do sound a little bit on the tinny side, so I would say probably the sweet spot for the volume is at about 75%. But what's good is that the picture looks really good. I like how you can crop in. Of course, you can do that with any Android smartphone, but I like how you can crop in and kind of fill up the entire display here and there's no notch or anything that gets in the way. So overall, this is a good phone for viewing video content. Like I said, the speaker does get a little bit tinny, but it does get a lot louder than I would have expected with a budget phone like this. But overall, I'm pretty happy so far with the Hot Pepper Ghost. Of course, it is an entry-level phone, and I don't know exactly at the moment what the price will be. But as soon as I do know, I will be updating the link in the video description. But in the meantime, you can go over to hotpeppermobile.com to learn more about this device and the company. But definitely let me know what you think of the Hot Pepper Ghost. Are you really happy that it's a factory-unlocked phone that works on all four major US carriers? Because I certainly see that as a big perk with the device. But let me know what you think. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. But this is Kevin here. This is the Hot Pepper Ghost. And I will see you in the next video. Please join the Kevin Breeze tech community on Facebook to chat about budget smartphones, ask questions, and help others. 
Follow me on Instagram at KevinBreezeTV.